Hi, I've dropped by the Shaconic booth today. Uh, we're joined by Lorenzo because we've got some exciting news here. You're the International Sales Director for... For Pocket Wizard. For Pocket Wizard and... Business Consultant for Shaconic. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, uh, we've touched base loads of yeah. times over different shows and everything else, haven't we? Excuse the flashes, they're testing out all this meter as they're going through with it, kind of showing <laughs> it off all its functionality. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, it's, Mark, this is awesome. Uh, it's the first light meter in the world to have a color touch screen on it. Um, so it's like using an iPhone. I mean, you simply just sit there and either tap or flick to change its settings. Um, it basically is like six light meters in one. It's an ambient meter, it's a flash meter, it's an incident meter. You can take the dome off of it, you can put a spot attachment onto it. The other cool thing is, is it has full function cine in it. So if you're a DSLR and video shooter, you've got HD cine built into the meter, all the different functions on it. Or if you're a cinematographer, it's got all the cine features built in, like shutter angle and frames per second. Um, but the really, really cool thing that they've built in here is not only does it have, of course, what you would expect as a pocket wizard built into it, but it triggers the standard channels and the control TL channels as okay. well. So now you can actually measure your TTL uh, flex TT5 meters. But the other cool thing is that today we've got Ellenchrome RX heads here that have um, basically uh, ST4s connected okay. to them. These are radios that basically work off the power of an RX Ellenchrome. Yeah, yeah. But the cool thing is, is that I have here power control. So I have wireless control over the power output, and I can even turn the modeling lights on and off right from my light meter. So if I'm running different uh, variety of banks of lights, so one, one, two, three, four around the studio, I right. can control it directly from you? Absolutely. Okay. You have up to three different zones. So this could be A light, B light, C light. And then from my fingers, I can raise and lower the power output of the light meter and then just simply pop the flash off. So the, for the first time, I have a remote control, literally, in my hand that measures the light, triggers cameras, triggers lights, changes the power, turns modeling lights on and off, and it's both video and still photography, all in one package. So are you replacing any of the other models in Sakonic? Yeah, or is absolutely. It, uh, yeah, in? What's it doing? Now, this, this replaces the, the 358, which has been in the product line for 12 oh. years. I know, oh, I know. My but this, I promise no. you, this is a much, much better product. Um, it's smaller, it's lighter, it's, it's got this really cool touch, color touch screen on it. And when you put all the pieces together, um, it's less money than a 358. And what I mean by that is that one of the cool things that people still are figuring out about this meter is it has exposure profiling built into it. Okay. And you couldn't do that with the 350. So we can use it like the Sub 58, we can actually use that the same way, isn't it? Yeah, this is like an economical version of the 758, yeah. absolutely. So is this coming out in around the same price as the 358, or is it? When you put all the pieces together, it's actually $183 less expensive than the 358. So, that, so that's gonna really knock, uh, also we've got the Flashmaster. To. Which is the one it's going to be replaced yeah, now? Right, okay. right. And what's the cost of the lower one? I forget the one. Well, the, the, the 358, when you put the five degree spot attachment on it, yeah. and then you get the radio module to plug in, and then you get the target, yeah. it goes up to like $700. Okay. The cool thing about this is that, first of all, the five degree spot on this is significantly less. Okay. The other thing is that the radio module is built in, so you don't have to buy it. It does much more than the 358 did. But the other cool thing is, is that this uses what's called DTS 3.0 software. And that's a software that allows you to basically learn what your camera can do and teach your meter so that it works the same way. Yeah. The cool thing is that up until this point, you had to buy the Sakonic Target, which was expensive. And what they realized is that nobody wants to buy that Target. It's too expensive. Everybody has an X-Rite Target. So they've now programmed the software to use up to three of the most popular X-ray targets, the Mini, the Passport, and the Classic. Awesome. So you already have the target, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or if you don't, the Classic is like $70, and you, you've got everything you need. So the whole package is much more affordable, and it's in a sophisticated, lightweight system. I can't wait to actually see it then, yeah. <laughs> using it kind of thing with it. Um, where's the future of Sakonic, do you think? Pocket Wizard Wise and things, really. What, what else we got going on? Well, we haven't talked about Pocket Wizard. Sure, today, really. sure. Um, Pocket Wizard and Sakonic are really working very Sorry. closely together to bring really cool ideas to reality. Uh, the power control is one of those things that photographers have been waiting for for a long time, and now it's a reality. So they're going to continue that synergy together, building new cool products together. But if photographers like yourself have cool ideas, we're always open you know, to listen to what those ideas are and try to get the, en the engineers to make it possible. As far as what Sakonic is doing, they're gonna take this concept 
and they're going to run with it. So they're going to slowly start to apply it to their color meter, to the 758, and future products. Um, they realize that there is a relationship now between videographers and still that, that business is merging in the DSLR market and so everything will now be a meter that is multifunction, that has all of those features built into one because I could be shooting a portrait today and a video clip tomorrow. So we have to be everything to... I think we've seen that at this show more than ever before. Yeah. I mean, last yeah. time we were here two years ago, it was a 3D show. Yep. This time the visit is a video show. Yeah. You know, you can just totally. see everything totally. is like video, yeah. video, video. And obviously as Conics go in, obviously needs the scene yeah. benefit as well. Yeah, and I think that what... The mission here is it can't be a light meter anymore. It's got to be much more. So as time goes by, we've got this, this device in your hand and we just got to figure out what other things it can do to help the photographer work smarter instead of harder. How have they managed to get the Lumosphere at such, such small size now compared to where we were at before? It, and the engineers, they were able and to just you know accumulate that, that light in a more efficient way, get it shrunk down so that it can do what it does. It does, by the way, it's removable, yeah. so you can put the five degree spot on it. So we're not gonna have a one degree and a 10 degree spot that no, you're aware of? No, not in this package, not for the okay. price. But, but the five degree spot will measure flash down to 2.8. Okay. So that's really low yeah. levels. I mean, the 758 goes down to you know f 2.0, but of course that's a more expensive meter. And the whole reason why we came out with this meter is, of course, you know, I run around the world yeah, yeah. teaching exposure profiling. Everybody loves the 758 because it's you know it's the all the, singing, all dancing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But for some people, it's just too expensive. So we needed to take that technology and kind of put it into a package that's affordable for photographers. And in the process of doing that we made it better. So it's basically giving the photographer more cool features at less of a cost. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> Lorenzo, good to see you again.